Coverage of President Trump's address to Congress tonight. Joining us in studio with his expert analysis, Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming is back. Uh, President Trump's all about ratings. Yes. I imagine this will be a, a, a highly rated address of Congress in a long time, one of the higher ones we've seen. I think it will be one of the very high ones for the simple reason. People in the mornings now get up to see what Donald Trump did <laughs> last night. He's a different type of president. He's an unconventional president, and I think people want to see what he's going to say tonight. All right, so uh, increasing the defense budget, that's one of the topics that Correct. the president's talked about. How can that possibly be good for Rhode Islanders? Well, for Rhode Island, it's very simple. He wants to increase the defense budget by 10%. The electric boats in Rhode Island, electric boat provides an awful lot of jobs in the state, more submarines being built in the state of Rhode Island, more jobs for the state of Rhode Island. All right, Obamacare, that's been his, uh, his yes. main target, not only throughout the campaign, but since he right. took office. What do you think will happen with that? This process, they always say, well, you want to repeal or replace it, but right. what's your plan? Well, again, the president can't do that. The Congress has to do right. that. And what's happening now is that Congress is working on their plans. He had, the Congress has to come up with an agreement that the president can also support so they can go through it. Obviously, we're going to see big changes, but the main thing is that Congress has to come up with an alternative to Obamacare. You can't just repeal it. That should be coming out in the next few weeks, and we'll have a better idea of what they want to do. All right, border security, the wall, he was talking about that, of course, all through the campaign. Right. And since he was elected, uh, is there any sort of feed, you know, uh, sort of benefit for Rhode Island and that sort of thing, or, or, or the whole immigration process as well that he's been very strict on right from the beginning? Well, immigration, obviously Rhode Island has an awful lot of immigrants in the state of Rhode Island, and in turn, I think we're going to see what Trump's going to do with all that. The border down in Mexico does not have a direct impact on the state of Rhode Island. However, the way immigrants are treated in the country and in the state of Rhode Island uh, will have an impact. I think Rhode Islanders uh, look at things one way as a melting pot in Rhode Island. I think Rhode Islanders want to keep it that way. Finally, it would be about Trump's tone. I mean, he seems to be still on the attack every single day, not only against the media, but just against everyone that doesn't want to listen to what he has to right. say. Very defensive. Uh, what do you expect from him tonight? To be a little bit more political? I think he may tone it down some. However, keep one thing in mind. Donald Trump got elected president by doing exactly this. This is how he got to be the president. So why would you change that? He feels that's doing, working for him. It, in the job rating, it's not that strong right now, but he believes if he keeps doing what he's doing, in the end, he's going to be the benefic benefit factor of all this. The pace, though, can he possibly keep up this aggressive attack all the time? He's always on the attack. doesn't seem like he's receptive maybe to advice and ideas and, and, and counsel. No, I think the president does get very upset when people criticize him. We see that with his comments they make all the time. He's not willing to take criticism. I think as time develops, he has to develop a hotter skin to accept what people are saying, to try to work with the news media a little bit more instead of making them the enemy all the time. Uh, I think it's going to take time for Donald Trump. He's a businessman who's used to getting what he wants. Now as president, you can't just say something and get what you want all the time. <laughs> That's right. All right, thanks, Joe. And uh, Joe is back again in about an hour with more analysis, 8 o'clock, a preview of the address live from Washington, D.C. as well. More in-depth coverage now. President Trump's address to Congress tonight. Joining us in studio once again is our political analyst, Joe Fleming. And we've been covered a lot of topics so far this morning and how this speech and what he might say could benefit Rhode Island. Two things we were talking about. Uh, infrastructure and also the defense budget, right? No question, Patrick. Defense especially, we have the fact that electric bowl in Rhode Island, the submarines, if he keeps increasing defense, this could bring more jobs to the state of Rhode Island, which is a big plus. The other area is infrastructure. This is where the Democrats and the president can work together. Infrastructure could benefit Rhode Island. We have road works going on right now. This could bring more money into the state to repair our roads and bridges in the state. So this is a benefit for Rhode Island. What about the tone tonight of President Trump? We've talked all along, not only this morning, but for the last couple of months about how he has sort of a, uh, an aggressive approach to right. just about everything, trying to get his point across. Yeah. Hates to get no for an answer. Right. Hates to be told this can't get done. But you're dealing with, now you, you got to massage the, right. the, the crew that you're dealing with tonight, right? But with keep in mind, sessions. this aggressive approach has gotten where he is today right. as yep. President of the United States. Agree, he has to really tone it down a little bit. He's dealing with the Congress. He has to get a budget through the Congress. He has to get legislation through the Congress. So he has to be able to work with the Congress. And it's a Republican Congress. So I would expect him to tone it down a little bit. But again, I don't think we're going to see President Trump really change his tone that much. Maybe a little adjustments. Uh, he keeps giving himself good grades. Anytime right. he talks about uh, or holds a press conference, it's about his ratings, 
right. about how he's done more in the first uh, 35 days than any other president yeah. in history. Uh, the, the you know the overall back padding here. You think that's got to slow down a little bit? And he's got to become more of a team player. Well, I think it's time he might, but that's not his nature. His right. nature is simply to talk about what I've done, what I've accomplished, and what I'm going to do. And I think that's what his speech is going to be tonight. He's going to first talk about what he's accomplished in the first five weeks as president, keeping his promises, saying he's going to build the wall, repeal Obamacare, things like that. Then I think what he's going to do is lay out what he wants to do over the next year uh, as the president. So I think that's going to be the tone of his speech tonight. He's very comfortable in his own house, that being the right. White House, surrounded by the people that he picked. <laughs> but you're going to the other end of Pennsylvania Correct. Avenue tonight, sur surrounded by people that are there, some to work with you, some right. to work against you. How comfortable, and I want to say, I don't want to use the word arrogant, but how, how comfortable do you think he'll be in that setting? Well, I think he's going to try to be as comfortable as he can. I think the Republicans, some of them still have some questions about Donald Trump. They had questions in the election, but I think they're going to try to work with him. I think they're going to try to work together. They both need each other to accomplish anything. If nothing gets accomplished, it's going to be very bad for the Republican Party in the United States. So I think they both have a mutual goal here is to get something done. So I think they will try to develop some type of way to work with each other. All right. It's all about developing relationships down in D.C. Joe, yep. thanks so much. And we'll have uh, much more on this tonight, this big preview of the address of the two chambers of uh, Congress coming up throughout the news.